Yeah, 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 wow Bring it to the center See your shape, color menta Fly wild January to December Hello guys, welcome to Boxing Block Center, the home of Nigerian African Boxing. Please, if you're new to this channel, make sure you click like and of course the subscribe button right now. Let's just go straight to it with that station. Our brother right here, Adewale, is in the building. Adewale, big water fan to you. Should you want to retire? Because a lot of people have been seeing many videos. In regards to water, people are saying he's finished, he's done, it was never good, it was... I think it's unfair, I'm not a... you know me, I was a Deontay Water big hater, right? I, you know, because I didn't hate Deontay Water as a person, but I just hate the fact that he was going all the way in on Joshua and stuff like that. And how he created uh, enmity between him and Joshua, because I just feel like him and Joshua are brothers. So, um, Wada is currently right now, let's say, his career right now is not in the best position, okay? Um, his career took a huge hit. I think I would blame his trainer, Molly Scott, of being clueless. The guy was not a, was a bad fighter. He wasn't. It was a. It was a. It was a. It was a bum of a fighter, and then got a chance to train you until water. And instead of improving water, he literally just. I don't. I don't. I. You can't tell me one thing. Water. Um. Gain, from. Um. Gain from Malice Scott. Well, you cannot tell me one thing he gained from him. Training with him. I mean. Mark Brillen did a better job than um, than Mali Scott but the question to you right now is that the Joshua fight we've been told is totally dead okay as of now and people are suggesting that what I should retire what do you what do you what do you what do you make of this do you think he should call it call it a day I honestly don't think Wilder should call it a day yet until after one more fight. As a huge Wilder supporter, bro, I don't buy pay-per-views, man. But I buy Wilder pay-per-views because I want to put money in that guy's pocket. You know, that Saudi pay-per-view, I streamed it. I'm not going to lie because Saudi is paying for it. Why do I have to pay for what Saudi has paid for? That's just my mentality. And I, I said all of that to have people understand how much I support this guy. As a Niger guy, we don't, bro, we don't pay, pay no pay-per-view. Who cares about that shit? But the truth is, Deontay Wilder, as much of a fan as I am of his, in my own book, he only has one more opportunity to prove himself. Because I don't want this guy to get embarrassed. I don't want that to happen. If Wilder fights one more fight, regardless the level of competition that it is, and he's not able to perform optimally, then he needs to retire 100%, especially at this stage of his career. 38 years old, you've only really had, you know, the knockouts that has been favorable for you in your entire career, and we loved it. A very, very exciting fighter. Nobody can take that away from Wilder. He was one of the most exciting heavy, heavyweights. Or rather, he is one of the most exciting heavyweights up until Joseph Parker. Right? Wilder is the type of guy that you would consider as must see TV. So you're either going to get knocked out or he's going to get knocked out. And that's what we boxing fans love. Let's keep it real, man. As a fan of combat sports, we love violence. And we love to see the brutality. And that's what Deontay Wilder always brought to the table. Up until Joseph Parker. For some reason, Wilder wasn't engaging. He wasn't even using the jab. And I have to agree with you to an extent as far as Malik Scott is concerned. Malik Scott, 
in that fight against Joseph Parker, I was completely disappointed because he showed no urgency and he also showed no plan B, pretty much. In the third fight against Tyson Fury, Malik Scott implemented, well, Wilder implemented some moves that Malik Scott was teaching him, like jabbing to the body and throwing the straight right hand to the body and, you know, having the opponent, having Tyson Fury constantly look out for the body and then all of a sudden sneak a right hand to the head. It worked a little bit well for the first couple of rounds until Wilder got dropped and then he reverted to himself, which was an instinctive fighter that just wants to destroy you. And that's why Wilder, even though he was hurt in the fourth round against Tyson Fury, he was still able to land that mega punch that dropped Fury. But in the Joseph Parker fight, there was none of that, man. All he did was he was circling and circling and circling. And I, I need to ask this question, Ray. In the fight against Tyson Fury, the third fight, while that was in circling, this guy was in circling, bro. He was throwing the jabs to the body and the right hands to the body. In the fight against Robert Hellenius, he was circling until he caught Hellenius with the right hand. And the same thing he did with Parker. So do you think they had two game plans in which one of the game plans for the Fury fight was don't circle, jab to the body, cross to the body and cross to the head versus his fight against Hellenius and Parker, circle, circle, circle and sneak in the right hand. Is, do you think that's what they planned? Because I, I was a little bit confused about that. I think Malice Scott turned Deontay Water into, into a dancer. <laughs> he wanted to turn water. Listen, he wanted to. I've never seen water move back. Listen, once the bell rang, water just started moving backward. I've never seen him like that. Usually, he comes forward or or he gets close to the center of the ring and throws his jab. Okay, the jab might not be. You might not. He he throws it in a way that. He doesn't he doesn't want it to, like he's not throwing it in a way to, for you to touch you or he's throwing it out there just keeping out there right mm. but in this fight water just the first thing i did was he went on a on his uh defensive mode started mm. moving around you know uh jogging in the ring um you know i've never seen water do that and it, that takes a lot a lot of strength from you if you're not you if Water is a is a is a is a is a hunter, you know. So yeah. in a Parker fight, he became the haunted and he hmm. did that winningly. Not like it's not like Parker, you know, you know, put put the heat on water from round one, right? They didn't do that. Yeah. Water put himself in that position and when Parker saw, oh, this guy doesn't want to come forward. Ah, okay. I'm gonna go for now. Round eight. Then he gained the confidence to come forward. Ra round eight. Then he got the confidence. And then you expect Water to like counter him and stuff like that, but Water didn't do that. Water landed the right hand, but it wasn't flush. It was just, yeah, you know, one of those right hands that don't, yeah. don't that don't really uh, land flush. But if the right hand landed, Parker would have would have felt it. Water is one guy that. It carries people will say yeah but call him all sort of names but that power is still very much dangerous yeah like you said the power is the last thing to go especially in the heavyweight division but honestly i was disappointed in the wilder performance and i hope he can rejig his career in his next fights me personally as a wilder fan a strong wilder fan i give him one more opportunity even if he fights a lower level opposition, I expect him to be to get a dominant victory. Even if he wins on a 12 round decision or 10 rounder fight, it doesn't matter. If he goes ahead and fights AJ right now, trust me, bro. I am someone that has always been the AJ critique, but I'm going to tell you right now. If Wilder, Wilder fights AJ right now, I'm going to have to favor AJ because AJ seems like he has really, really improved, really, really improved. And he looks at that victory over um, Otto Wallian and the other guy, um, Hellenius, must have really boosted his confidence. So if he goes in the ring against Wilder right now, I think he has the edge. But then who, we don't know, man. Who knows? Who knows? I'm giving Wilder one more fight 
if he can't perform optimally, then I think he needs to hang up the gloves. He has already done a lot in his career. And I understand a lot of boxing fans will always hate Wilder. It's understandable. I get it. They would say stuff like, oh, he only fought tomato cans in his career. He only fought bombs. He has no boxing skills. All he has is a knockout pop punch. But <laughs> let's keep it real here, man. If all the top opposition that were supposed to fight you were either testing positive for performance enhancing drugs or were finding another way to make money off another avenue, then are you going to blame the guy that couldn't make those fights happen? You're not going to blame Wilder for, for not being able to fight against Charles Martins, for not able to get Poveskin in the ring and all these other guys. Those fights did not happen for many reasons and it wasn't Deontay Wilder's fault. But people don't care about that. Boxing fans, people in general, they have very fickle ways of thinking and they would only rate you for your current way, your current performance in life. So in my opinion, Deontay Wilder, good brother, Wilder, still love him, still a fan, win, lose, or draw. If you're not able to have a dominant performance in your next fight, a convincing victory, hang up the hang up the gloves, bro. Let it go. Just let it go. It's all good, man. You already told us like two years ago that you were fighting until you were 40, and you're going to turn 40, I believe, next year or something like that. So if you, I mean, it's already around the corner anyways. So this is the time to maximize your career between now and 40 years old and just hang up the gloves. Um, I don't think you should hang up the gloves, bro. I don't think so. I think, you know, I think he should he should do what Joshua did. Go into a dark room, you know, the go into a dark room, stay there for hours. No, 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 no food. Only, only water to only water to drink. About that. You will see uh, if he does that, you will see the radio to one, the old one will come out. Listen, what I will say, yeah, he took a lot of beating and stuff like that, bro. Everybody takes beating. Fury also took damages from water, but water's problem I've always, I've always, I've always been that he gives up. This guy literally give, he gives up round. If you don't give if you don't give up two round three round four I'm like when are you going to start throwing jabs? If water for example threw jabs and landed, of course you landed on Parker. Even if he didn't throw the right hand, but just he could have won that fight with a jab because he has a longer reach, right? But he, he he wants to knock you out. That's the that's the thing. He wants to knock you out. He doesn't want to like do. And that's the thing. I think that's also his weakness because he wants to knock you out. You know. You know, now that you mentioned this, bro, I remember when Wilder fought Chris Ariola, and Chris Ariola is not as good a fighter as Joseph Parker. Parker is way more twitchy, faster. You know, I think I would favor the, the, Parker the, the, over The Ariola. same Ariola that dropped around the region, huh? Let's forget, hold one, hold the Ariola that dropped around the region. Exactly. Bro, Wilder beat this guy with a jab and stopped him with a jab because Wilder's hand was broken in the fourth round. He jabbed this guy's face. This guy's face looked like he was hit by a truck. This is what I'm saying. Chris so why does why, so he, why he has a good jab, but he just stopped using it? Why did he stop? Uh, you know, you winning. He could win fights with a jab. Yeah, I agree. It's very sad. It's very. It's very like. It's very. It's very sad. You know, it's one of those things, man. I don't think he should retire, bro. I think there's still a lot left in the tank for water. You know. Yeah, I'm just I'm gonna give him I'm gonna give him one more performance. I expect him to come out dominant, dominantly. You know, the victorious but, dominantly. But, but his if next, he can't, his next then... fight should be against a top twenty fighter, not a top uh, top ten or top because he needs to. He just like look at Joshua for example. Joshua, Joshua had so many bad performances before he got to the a good one because he was he stayed active, right? You cannot fight once in two years or. or one round in two years, bro. That's crazy for a fighter. Yeah. One round in two years. Now, wow. One round in two years. The, like, <laughs> the Elenios one, you didn't get anything. You know? It's just crazy, bro. So, guys, you're here for our bottom at the wall. 
stay tuned for my super rare year. God bless you for the support channel. And uh, right back very soon.